that's where it came from. And I think that's so fascinating because in order to avoid a belief in God, he's an all powerful um, creator of everything that has infinite power, infinite, uh, infinite understanding that's timeless. Instead, what they did was they postulated an all powerful multiverse that is itself timeless. Um, and so all, what they did was they had to take the attributes of God and sparse them up to create a theory that might allow them to avoid God. But much more interesting than that is that not only is there no empirical evidence for the multiverse whatsoever, it's definitionally impossible for there to ever be empirical evidence for the multiverse. Because what it means to be a separate universe is that it will always be outside of our capacity to observe it. If we somehow found a portal or a wormhole that allowed us to access another universe, definitionally that would not be another universe. That would be accessing a new part of our universe. But universes definitionally are closed. They're closed systems. So not only is there no evidence for the multiverse hypothesis, there will never be any evidence for the multiverse hypothesis, which means those who postulated the multiverse as a way of trying to avoid the logical implications that God finally tuned the universe for life have actually like backed themselves into a corner where the only way out of faith in God is blind faith in a multiverse.